Hi, I'm Rich Harris and welcome to my new series where I'm going to be showing you some great brunch dishes. So if you need to kick away the hangover or just impress your friends and family, these ones are for you. This recipe is a great one from our friends across the pond. It's my buttermilk pancakes with crispy maple glazed bacon. First thing you need to do is to fry the bacon. I'm using streaky bacon because that's going to go really nice and crispy. And you're not going to hear a sizzle because I'm starting in quite a low temperature pan and just going to bring the temperature up slowly. One of the secrets of getting really crispy bacon is to cook it nice and low and slow. It's going to render the fat out, make it really nice and crisp. Don't shake the pan, don't keep turning it, just leave it and then turn it over in a couple of minutes. Lovely. You know, I've got a sneaky feeling that cameraman George had a couple of drinks last night. So I can tell this is getting excited. I don't need any better smell than the smell of crispy bacon in the morning or any time of day. Right, so once you've got it to that stage, take it out of the pan, drain it on some kitchen paper. So just carefully pour off that oil. Just grab a bit of kitchen roll and wipe out the pan just to get rid of any excess oil and then a good glug of maple syrup. Straight away that maple syrup is going to start bubbling and start reducing in the pan. And as soon as you get these kind of nice small fine bubbles, chuck your bacon back in and then just keep moving it around the pan just so it all kind of coats and glazes. This is where the bacon is going to go really nice and sticky and caramelised. Just keep shaking it around the pan until those bacon bits get really sticky and glazed and shiny. And for a full list of ingredients, just check out the description box. Take that off the heat and just set it to one side. That'll stay nice and warm in the pan. Take a clean pan and heat it up, ready for our pancakes. So for the pancakes, start off with all the dry ingredients. I've got some plain flour, teaspoon of baking powder, and just a good pinch of salt. And just give those a good sift. That's gonna make the pancakes really, really light and fluffy. Make a little well in the center. I've got some buttermilk, which is going to add a great acidity to the pancakes. It's also going to react with the baking powder and make them really, really fluffy and light. So straighten with them. And then three large eggs. So just whisk up the buttermilks in the egg until they're smooth. And then pour your buttermilk and egg mixture straight into the flour. Now this isn't like a traditional English pancake or French pancake batter that you can make in advance and then just fry up. Because the buttermilk is going to react with the baking powder, you need to start frying them pretty much as soon as the mixture comes together. So pour all that in. And then just gently combine the two ingredients together. and then transfer the mixture into a jug. I always just find using a jug makes it far easier and you're not messing around with ladles or spoons. You can just pour out the right amount. So just drop small amounts of the pancake batter because it will spread as it cooks. As you pour it, it will naturally form into a circle shape. Don't overcrowd the pan, otherwise the pancakes will start clumping together and you'll get one massive pancake. So keep an eye on the pancakes here and you want to see these little bubbles here starting to form the surface. When these bubbles start to pop, you know that the pancakes are ready to turn over. So now they're just starting to pop. So get a spatula underneath, give them a flip. You see they start to rise up and fluff up. This is the perfect brunch recipe for me. It's quick, it's easy, it doesn't take too much effort. So if you're a bit bleary eyed from the night before, it's a nice easy one to do. And you can just cook it and serve it straight to the table for your friends. So take the pancakes out. and just transfer them to a plate. Cover these in some foil just while you're cooking the other ones. Just keep cooking until you've used up all the batter. Right, so that's the last of the pancakes. All that's left to do now is build the stack. So, I think the height of your stack of pancakes should directly correlate to how many drinks you had last night. And given that cameraman George is feeling a little shaky, we're gonna go quite tall. So just, Stack up your pancakes and grab some of this lovely sticky maple glazed bacon. 
so sticky, it won't even come off the tongs. Though. Oh, look at that. And because we're not on a diet, it's going to finish it with a little knob of butter. And for good measure, just a little bit more maple syrup as well. So there we go, my buttermilk pancakes with crispy maple glazed bacon. If you've enjoyed this recipe, click the subscribe button. Cheers. Come on in, George. These are for you. Come on. Sticky, very sticky. Very sticky. Very, very. I, I don't know how to use one of these cameras. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> there we go, there's a sure sign pancakes are a winner. George is happy. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Sorry.